What's up, y'all? Exodus 1, a.k.a. Indigo Sky, a.k.a. Trigger Ranking, brethren. Um, I just finished a session with uh, Mudknock. Yes, you sir. You my name wrong. It's Mudknock. It's condom spelled backwards, phonetically. <laughs> M-U-D-N-O-C. Okay. This is the first um, episode of the Poor Boy Podcast when we're Mudknock. Um, I just finished the session. Um, uh, I just want to talk about a couple of uh, things going on in the industry. Um, first off, let's talk about YSL. What do you think about YSL and the whole indictment? And uh, do you think that they will be released? Or do you think that because of so many people being incarcerated because of the whole YSL incident and it's uh, a state federal and do you think that the actual federal federal will come after they uh, uh, are finished with what they are doing as far as like the state recall? Well, first of all, can I cuss? You can cuss all you want, all you okay. want to. Uh, well, I was just going to say, I, I think it's fucked up. I think Rico's are fucked up, um, but we all know. I think Rico's were uh, it, uh, not invented, but they 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 designed it back in the seventies for the mob. Yeah, and exactly. I think it's fucked up in the sense of people can get innocent people can get get caught up. Yeah, um, just because they're around, yeah. you know, you know, homeboys are just hanging around situations can can get caught up. So yeah, but as we know, like Rico's is. is the percentages are low for people getting off, but in the same breath, I don't know why um, an attorney is never just the whole Rico law. Just like if you're doing some wrong shit and I'm over at your crib or we riding together, if I ain't doing nothing wrong, I can't be guilty by association. And that's how the Rico law is is, is set up. So I think it's, it's it's really fucked up. I don't know the details as far as whatever they, uh, if you would, evidence or what they got, but um, it don't look good. And I think the the other thing is they're talking about more cases that are coming down. Yeah. So, um, all in all, it, it, it's fucked up. Yeah. Um, and I can only see the, the landscape of music in Atlanta changing forever mm -hmm. if, uh, you know, more more people get locked up. So, so uh, they're also doing uh, these sweep-ups in New York, uh, Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, the Bronx. They're also doing them. Well, I think the next place they're going to go is California. But see, uh, the only thing that is with that is uh, the way that California gangs are structured, they are more, uh, they have more structure to them. So by them having more structure to them, do you think that they'll be able to come and get the California gangs? Because they also have uh, the Englewood family bloods, they got the Pyrus, they got uh, the Jungles, mm -hmm. and they also have, uh, what's the last one? Um, the Bounty Hunter Bloods. And all of these gangs originate from uh, California, but now they are also indicted in the RICO case in Atlanta. Uh, um, and so what do you think about that? I think they can get whoever they want. Um... When, I mean, you know how the government works. When they, when they target you, um, you know, that, that's that's what they do. And, and a lot of us are stupid, especially in the social media age when yes. we're, we're posting stuff. Yes, yes. And, I mean, I think it's really fucked up that they can try to use song lyrics, you know, especially with these these, these yeah. artists getting, like, come on, man. I, I, I've what, written songs. Uh, Dre and, and the Meat Mill was talking about, but go ahead. I'm sorry. Well, no, that, that's, that's, that's what goes fucked up. I've written plenty of songs about some fixed uh fictional shit but to be able to use that and be a missile yeah, on court you didn't actually do it yeah and it's, i mean if, if that's the case i mean i mean people that make movies it's like you can't yeah, use that yeah, art yeah, yeah. and just say yeah, that because yeah, i said yeah, that yeah, I in a song that i, could that I was it. doing I it. it but I bottom line it. is anywhere around the country if, if they're targeting somebody um you know they can make some some shit stick, even if it's loose, and that's that's what's fucked up. I yeah. think what was uh wasn't six nine? He, that was a Rico case. Yeah, that was a Rico. And case. And he was reckless. I mean, but, come on. I mean, but at the end of the day, six nine just gave up all the information, <laughs> and some of the other guys that was implicated in his case, yeah. they were snitching and told on themselves too. Yeah. So 
Snitch nine. I mean, well, I, I don't mean to say snitch nine. Respectfully, mm-hmm. okay. uh, six nine. Uh, he was also in uh, on the the Rico with some guys who was in the same situation that Young Thug is in right now. The situation, mm-hmm. and they told uh, also. Mm-hmm. So I mean, it's like you know, six nine. They basically he was the money. He was the backing of the of the GS nine. Well, not GS nine. He was the backing of the crew, mm-hmm. and by him being the backing of the crew, and he had the money. They had to implicate him in it, mm-hmm. but he found out actually before everything dropped down that the guys in the same gang he was in, they was going to super violate him. Mm-hmm. So super violating mean we either going to shoot you or we going to kill you. So why not snitch? Why not snitch? Yeah. And you fuck my baby mama. Oh, wow. See, I didn't, I didn't know the whole case. I just yeah. know it was a Rico. You know, it's, it's messed up. Like, I never even listened to any of his music, but they had some little documentary that was on Hulu that kind of mm-hmm. gave him some of the background. And it was like, I, I, I saw that documentary before I even heard any of his music. Okay, okay, but, um, okay. But yeah, it's like, come on, man. If if, if, if somebody's going to stab you in the back, then yeah, I'm... I'm yeah, gonna... hey, bro. I'm, I, I, I ain't going to say I'm going to tell, but yeah. guess what? You fuck my baby mama, you take him... My... Oh, they also took his money. So when he was uh, supposed to do shows, they like okay. So say say the uh, he was supposed to show up for the show, and they was gonna give him, uh, we'll say five hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. The guys that were actually booking the shows for him would be like, okay, you are gonna get two hundred thousand. Uh, mm. Yeah, that's. And they was keeping the three hundred on top of all of that. That's bad business. That's bad business, bro. So like, I mean, you, know you can't bro? get mad at somebody for telling. When their back is against the wall, yeah. but at the end of the day, it is what it is. And uh, mud, mud knock, mud knock. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Like, what would you like to uh, add to that? No, I mean, in in that instance, um, I mean, if you got, you got to know who. You, if, if you got somebody that's booking shows for you, doing any kind of legal work or whatever, you want to be able to trust them. Yeah, but at the end of the day, like you said, if somebody is doing my 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 money business yeah. behind the scenes, I gotta have somebody watching them, and I yeah. gotta have somebody watching, watching them, them also. Yeah. So it's just like you know, when I hear those stories, it's like you should have knew better, or like you said, have somebody you know dotting the eyes and and, and yeah. crossing the T's just to make yeah. sure everything is, at is the right. End of the day, yeah. But some people get out here and get reckless, and uh, even with the money, it's like they don't they don't. I, I don't get it. Like, you, you can't say that you're not thinking about it. I mean, mm-hmm. you. I don't know. I mean, I, I think people like that are just irresponsible. But uh, that's an irresponsible act. Like, if you have a business, I don't care what kind of business you have. You have to have people watching people. I don't care if it's a cash register. I mean, a person at the cash register. Mm-hmm. You got to have somebody watching that person. You got to have cameras or yeah. something mm-hmm. because anything can happen in in the in the scope of business because business deals with money and people and, are greedy. Come on, bro. Well, they say money is the root of all evil. So, hey. yeah, yeah. I mean, when it comes down to money, yeah, you, you, you like yeah. you said, you got to be careful and have people watching them. So, so. Hey, man, y'all kicking me in the Common Cafe. I want y'all to like, subscribe, share. Hit that notification bell. I want y'all to get in with Mud Knock. Mud Knock. And um, shit, the uh, Cash App is in the description. I want y'all to uh, help grow the channel. And uh, we're going to keep doing this, man. We're not going to stop. So got a lot of big projects in the future with uh, Mud Knock. And uh, I just want to say uh, shout out to, pe- to everybody who followed me, all my subscribers, and uh, the people who supported me uh, through my, you know, my, my my little small channel. So it is what it is. Hey, man, I'm kicking with y'all in the Karma Cafe. And uh, one, peace.